Lockheed Martin Skunk Works releases an ad featuring a tailless, diamond-shaped aircraft, believed to be the next-generation air dominance NGAD fighter jet. This is one of several clues released about the NGAD program, which aims to develop a fighter jet more stealthy, maneuverable, and powerful than any in service. In a significant milestone towards achieving self-reliance in critical defense technologies, the Indian Navy, in collaboration with the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, successfully conducted guided flight trials of its first indigenously developed naval anti-ship missile from a Seeking 42B helicopter. The successful trials, conducted on November 21, 2023, mark a pivotal step in India's quest to enhance its maritime defense capabilities and reduce dependence on foreign imports for advanced weapon systems. The missile, developed under the Naval Anti-Ship Missile Short Range NASMSR program, is designed to effectively engage and neutralize enemy warships at sea. Russia's UAC has filed a patent for a two-seater stealth fighter jet, believed to be the long-awaited Indo-Russian FGFA. The FGFA program, launched in 2007, aimed to develop a next-generation fighter jet for India. However, India withdrew from the project in 2018 due to delays and disagreements. Russia continued developing the FGFA, and the new patent filing suggests it is ready to unveil the aircraft. The FGFA is expected to be a formidable competitor to the F-35 Lightning II and J-20 stealth fighters. India is exploring other options for its aging fighter fleet. India has placed an emergency order for two Hermes 900 Starliner unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, from Elbit Systems to enhance its reconnaissance and surveillance capabilities. The Hermes 900 is a versatile and advanced UAV that offers a range of payload options, making it a valuable asset for intelligence gathering, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions. India is expected to closely monitor the performance of the Hermes 900 during operational deployment and could place subsequent orders for more of these advanced UAVs. In a groundbreaking technological advancement, Anna University has successfully developed drones capable of carrying a 50-kilogram payload, marking a significant leap forward in UAV capabilities. These drones, specifically designed for the Indian Army, hold immense potential to revolutionize logistical operations and enhance military preparedness. The development of these high-capacity drones addresses a critical need for the Indian Army particularly in challenging terrains and remote areas where traditional transportation methods face logistical constraints. With the ability to carry essential supplies such as arms and ammunition, medical supplies, and food, these drones will play a pivotal role in ensuring that armed forces stationed in remote regions have the resources they need to carry out their missions effectively. The Indian Air Force IAF has issued a tender to Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, for the purchase of 12 advanced Su-30 MKI fighter jets. These jets will be manufactured in India by HAL in partnership with Russian original equipment manufacturers. The aircraft will include a high percentage of indigenous content and will be equipped with multiple Indian weapons and sensors. India has a fleet of 272 Su-30 fighter jets, which have been upgraded with Indian systems and weapons like the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and the Astra air-to-air -air missile. In a major advancement, India's newest indigenous guided missile destroyer, Imphal, scored a bullseye in its maiden BrahMos firing at sea. This achievement strengthens India's naval deterrence and showcases its growing military might. The Indian Navy is enhancing its submarine fleet with the completion of the medium refit with life certification MRLC, for the INS Shishamar submarine. The retrofit will extend the submarine's operational life and equip it with a modernized weapon suite. The Navy is also planning to MRLC another SSK-class submarine, INS Shankush, which will be upgraded with combat capabilities and join the active fleet by 2026. Team Eritra from IIT Madras's Marine Autonomous Vessels Laboratory won first place in the 2023 Virtual Robot X VRX Challenge, defeating 33 teams worldwide. The team's autonomous surface vessel, ASV, excelled in navigating the simulated marine environment and completing tasks. 
This victory highlights IIT Madras's leadership in autonomous maritime robotics. OneWeb India has been granted permission to launch satellite broadband services in India, becoming the first company to receive this authorization. The company plans to provide high-speed internet connectivity to customers across the country once it receives spectrum allocation from the government. OneWeb India has already obtained approval to establish two gateways in India, and it is ready to deploy its services as soon as it receives the final spectrum authorization.